Hey everybody, this is Rob, and this is your week number 13 class for December 23rd, fourth period and fifth period. Hey, last class before winter vacation. You guys have done a really good job. Uh, Kate Sensei and Tracy Sensei and I have been looking at your videos. We're very impressed with your work. Keep doing a good job. You guys are doing a really, really great job. Okay, so okay, let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about show and tell part two. Today's topic is I have multimas, katimas. Okay, anything is okay. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. First, okay, same as before. We talked about this last week. Uh, this is on the PDF. This is on the PDF. You can look at the stuff, how to create the assignments. Uh, uh, where to store them and how to submit them. Please remember, if you have any problems, you can call me with, via line, Kate Sensei, Tracy Sensei, uh, through email. Contact us if you have any problems. If you cannot upload your videos to the Moodle, or excuse me, if you cannot upload your URL link to the, vi to the Moodle, please send it to me at line and I'll make sure it gets checked, okay? Great, okay. So next thing, uh, yeah, about the assignments, please one to three minutes, nothing longer, okay? And uh, please make sure there, there are many ways to make your videos. You can use a PowerPoint video like I'm doing right now, or if you want to, you can use InShot, screen matic or if you just wanna sit in front of a camera and do that too, that works fine. Um, you can use special effects or you can just talk like I am doing. Anything is okay. Good. Next one. Uh, please remember, do not upload a video to Moodle. It's too heavy. Instead, please uh, upload your video to YouTube or Google and attach the URL to the Moodle. Again, if you have problems, contact us and we'll help you. Okay, good. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, now today we're gonna talk about I have. Now, there, there are many ways you can do this. I'm going to suggest three. Okay, number one, talk about one main thing you have. Tell us how you acquired it, okay? Acquire is uh, shu tokusuru, okay? And tell us why this thing is special to you, okay? Number two, talk about many smaller things you have. Tell us how you acquired them and why they are special to you. And then number three, talk about a thing you do not have, but want to acquire. Tell us why you want to acquire it and how you will acquire it, okay? So I'm gonna do all three right now, very quickly, so you have some kind of uh, example, okay? So for example, oh, I just lost my thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so first thing we're going, I'm gonna talk about is number one, talk about, uh, talk about a thing that you have, tell us why, how you acquired it, and why it is special to you, okay? So I'll try this right now. I'm sorry, I lost my, I lost the picture I wanted to show you. Uh, my computer is being difficult now. Please don't be difficult. Okay, here we go, it's a little bit better. Okay, there we go, got it. Okay, so number one, talk about one main thing you have, how you acquired it and how you acquired this thing and why this thing is special to you. Okay, so I'm gonna begin. Hi. My name is Rob, and I am a student at Hokkaido University of Science. I'm going to talk about one thing that I have that's very special to me, okay? It's this, this dinosaur right here. This dinosaur is very special to me for two reasons. Number one, I love dinosaurs. When I was a child, I would always read dinosaur books, and I would watch movies about dinosaurs. Um, so I have always loved dinosaurs. My favorite dinosaur is Triceratops. It has three horns. I think in Japanese you say Torikoteratops. So, so I have always loved dinosaurs. The reason also this dinosaur is special to me is because my son made it for me. Um, it, says, it, it says right here, it says Papa. It's kind of difficult to see, but it says Papa 2012. And it says, uh, Tanjobi omedito gazimas, and it's from my son Luca. So, this dinosaur is very, very special to me. My son painted it himself. Uh, you can tell that he did that when he was very young. My son is 14 right now, but uh, he did this when he was six. So, when he was six years old, he made this dinosaur and he painted it and he gave it to me. 
You can tell the colors are starting to fade a little bit, but it is still very important to me and my heart. So anyway, again, this is this is my my special dinosaur. And I love this dinosaur because I have always loved dinosaurs. And it is extra special because my son made it for me for my birthday eight years ago. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Number two, number two. Okay. Talk about many smaller things you have and tell us how you acquired them. Okay. Uh, how you acquired them and why they are special to you. Okay. So, okay. So now I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to talk about many small things. Stuff ready. Okay. So next one. Okay. Here we go. So Hi, my name is Rob. I am a uh, teacher at Sapporo Gakuin University, and I'm going to talk about three small things I love. I love dinosaurs. Um, I love dinosaurs, but there is one animal I love more than dinosaurs, and that is the shark. I love sharks. I love sharks because sharks are older than dinosaurs. So because of that, I have many, many shark things. If it's a shark, I will collect it. So I'm going to show you three things from my shark collection. The first one is this shark right here. This is called a stuffed animal. I think in Japanese, you say nurigurumi. I love this shark stuffed animal because number one, it's a hammerhead shark. In Japanese, you say shimokuzame. So um, I like hammerhead sharks. Sometimes I go scuba diving with them in Micronesia. This is also special to me because my son caught this in a crane game. In Japanese, you say UFO catcher. So my son caught this in a UFO catcher, but he gave it to me because he knows that I like sharks. Okay. My second uh, thing that I want to show you is my shark pen. It's a pen. Okay. You can see that it's a pen, but if you look, you see it's a shark. This is important to me because my friend uh, went on vacation and she got this for me. She saw this in a gift shop and she thought, aha, Rob will like this. So um, she bought this for me. It means a lot to me because number one, it's a shark. And number two, because my friend was thinking about me. Finally, this is a, a coffee cup and it says Jaws on it, okay? Jaws is the famous shark movie. Uh, you probably know it from the music, you know, dun, 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 dun. So I love this cup because um, again, one of my friends went to America uh, went to Los Angeles, Hollywood, and they went to Universal Studios in Los Angeles. And my friend saw this coffee cup and said, Rob, this is for you because you like sharks. So again, this is very important to me because my friend, because I love sharks and because my friend was thinking about me. So again, I have a coffee mug that has a shark on it like this. Okay, and I have a stuffed shark that I won with my son, and I have a shark pen, and these are some of my shark things. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Okay, now number three, talk about a thing you do not have. Talk about a thing you do not have, but want to acquire. Tell us why you want to acquire this thing and how you will acquire it, okay? So I'm gonna do number three right now, okay? Good, okay. So hi, my name is Rob and I am a teacher at Sapporo Gakuin University. There is one thing in my life I have always wanted, but I do not have. That is a Corvette. This is a Corvette, okay? A Corvette is a sports car that is made in America. I have always wanted a Corvette. I love Corvettes for many reasons. Number one, they are made in my hometown of Detroit. Number two, Corvettes are cool. They're beautiful, beautiful cars. And number three, this car was made in 1981. This is the 1981 uh, uh, 
almost uh, 1981, yeah, almost 40 years ago. Wow, almost, this car was made almost 40 years ago. Um, and uh, in 1981 is when I started to become more of an adult, okay? So this car represents my, my early child, my early adulthood, late childhood, and it represents freedom and success. Now, I don't have this car, but I want to get it. How will I acquire this car? Well, my dream is to become a writer and an author. So I'm going to write many books. I'm going to sell many books. And then I'm going to use the money to buy this car. Okay. And after I acquire it, after I get this car, I'm going to take one month. Okay. This is my retirement dream. I'm going to drive this car all over Hokkaido. And I'm going to go to every Michi no Eki and uh, enjoy staying in beautiful hotels and driving in my beautiful Corvette. So, so the one thing I don't have, but I want to get is a Corvette red, of course. And uh, I will get this car by selling many books and writing many stories and then using the money to get it. After I get the car, I am going to drive all over Hokkaido in my open top car and say, hi, my name is Rob. This is my beautiful car. Okay, thank you very much for listening. I will see you later, goodbye. Okay, those are the three speeches. There are many ways you can do this. Remember, the most important thing is for you to do your best and have fun. So pick something that you feel good about, okay? Everybody, thank you very much, okay. Um, so right now, go ahead and do your assignment and send the video to us. If you have any questions, please ask us anytime. One quick point I want to say, some people have said, can I hurry up and do all the assignments first and not come in January? You can, but I really, really want to challenge you to come to the last two classes in January. If you do that, I think you will learn a lot of new English. So please do come in January too. Okay, great job, everybody. This has been a difficult year, but you have done a super job. Have a great winter vacation, and I will see you in January, okay? Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Happy New Year.